Howdy everyone, welcome back to another Max Putnam vlog video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a quick update on the state of the candy shop. It's been a little while since Colin and I posted the original walkthrough, leaving the other good, good office and going to the candy shop. I wanna give you guys another little brief walkthrough of the current state of status state of the candy shop. Since that video, we have gotten some different setups for Luis, Shaler, Michael, kind of, Colin and me. So right now there's like five-ish setups going on in the candy shop. Someone literally broke our mailbox today. <clears throat> so going through the door to the right, we have Luis's and Shaler's little office space. Shaler's desk right here, Luis's desk right there. Shout out Abby's dad. <laughs> he was getting rid of a bunch of office equipment and he got rid of all these brown kind of old school but really solid wood desks. Yeah, so Shaler's desk looks pretty empty because he brings everything he needs when he comes into work and then takes it away, which, you know, as you'll see with my desk, that is not the case for me. My whole desk is a constant state of just dirtiness, but I respect the cleanliness of Shaler. We just got this big old LG screen, which it's a 32 inch LG. I'll put a link down below for that. We use these, I think, yeah, exclusively. We are all using this monitor, which we actually got a new one for Michael, who's been editing all of the Good Good Extras vlogs and whatnot. He's a beast. It is the LG UHD monitor 4K 32 UP 8. 3A and Shaler's is the new model that has the USB C that can also be it's like charging and display all in one. Not a sponsor, but I'll put a link in the description below because we freaking love these screens. They're super big and it feels really rewarding to come back, get behind that screen and start working because it's like every time it's like, oh my god, I'm home. Moving on, no one's here. It's the evening. Luis's desk here. I got him this uh awesome. <laughs> trackpad he also takes everything obviously we work on laptops so his stuff is missing and that's actually colin's old computer from like 10 years ago this is Luis's desk if you know what these clubs are from put it in the comments below uh he's got some clubs hanging on the wall there he kind of tore apart his old desk it's literally sitting right there out in the front porch it's completely demolished he was whacking it with a golf club and uh yeah we haven't taken it to the dump yet it's just been sitting on our front porch and it looks Kind of dumpy if I'm being honest, but you know what? Moving right along, we have this TV, which I think maybe it wasn't in the last video. It's just, I think like a 75 inch Vizio. I've used it a couple times. I don't do it for every video, but uh, on the big ones, like when we did the championship, I watched it down on this screen and it's nice because you can just kind of kick back, listen to it, watch it on a TV. It's a whole different experience. So yeah, we have that as like a playback monitor. It also has an Xbox on it. Haven't used the Xbox, but it's there. Moving into my room, uh, I put up this tassel thing, and it was so annoying that we actually ended up cutting it to the shape of Colin's head, so that when we walk through, it goes through where the head should go, and you don't hit the tassels as much. Here's my room. As I said before, my room is a little bit on the messy side. My desk just stays kind of like this. A recent addition is the giant speakers. Uh, they are Yamaha HS8s. Even though we want the video picture to be as clean as possible, we're also concerned about audio being good. So if you notice, everyone's desk has monitor speakers. It's just something like video that we want to have top notch. And these speakers, uh, they're not like crazy bass or anything, even though they look huge. They're actually meant to be perfectly balanced. The best example I have is if you have a really vivid monitor, uh, if you're editing on it, it looks good. But then when you export, it'll be kind of like shockingly different than what you've edited on. So having a very flat, even accurate screen is important so that what you're seeing is what people will be most likely getting. Same story with audio. You want it to be as even as possible, not too bassy and stuff on your end so that you're not doing something that people end up not being able to hear on their end. Right now we have the UK <laughs> content. This comes up as a playback monitor, so it's set up in settings to be my playback monitor. And that's kind of how it looks. Got my Brain Food Spotify mix. Shout out Brain Food. I've always, it hasn't really changed, but I, I'll play it as background music while I'm editing and stuff. But this is kind of what, what it looks like for me when I'm editing right there. The other new addition is uh, these cushiony 
rest for my arms because I always tend to rest my hand on the corner of this thing and it always hurts. So you got some of these bad boys. Just like this monitor, I'll put everything in the description below because uh, everything here has been used and abused to the point of I can definitely recommend everything. Like I go between a bunch of different keyboards but this Logitech MX keys has been something that's been the same for the entirety of Good Good. Same with this mouse, the Logitech MX Master mouse. That has been the mouse that I have used for the entirety of working uh, at Good Good. <laughs> it's safe to say that everything here has been uh, thoroughly tested. So yeah, here's Colin's room. Uh, it's a little dark with the shades down, but he's got all the pictures up, which makes it really cozy in here. Uh, a lot more cozy than it was. It's still kind of echoey in here, but it's looking pretty good. We got a little sign for the outhouse. It's just the bathroom. Moving right along, we have this middle room. This is the most awkward room of the entire place. Uh, I think, I don't know what I said we were gonna do in the last video, but it's been used as multiple things. It's been used as a studio, a dining room, and now it's just kind of collecting a bunch of things. It's not my favorite. Here, let me, let me flip it around here. So, a bunch of random stuff. Don't even look at that. Film scanner that I bought, because I want to scan some film. Bunch of random pictures that we found at a thrift shop. Recently, I just made this into a giant desk. So this is a fully like functioning editing desk, run off of an M1 Mac Mini uh, back there. So this is kind of like reserved for Michael, the other good, good editor who uh, he works on, like I said before, the extras channels. He typically works on his laptop, but this is here as an option for him. Uh, let's continue on into the storage room. I don't think we had anything set up before, but now the storage room has shelves and things that we can store stuff in. It is a disaster in here, I will tell you right now. I won't go into detail, but yeah, that's the storage room. It's got a bunch of stuff that needs to be thrown away. It even has this old server rack, but not functioning, so definitely need to get some work done in there. Uh, kind of saving that project for a rainy day. We'll get to that and we'll clean it up and kind of organize everything in there. At some point we'll get to it. Moving right along to the final room here, uh, the kitchen. We got a fridge. We got sent this putting green. Yeah, we just kind of walked over the putting green and, you know, make food, whatever. But since the first video, we did find a little fridge to fit here. We got a trash can, we got the putting green, coffee maker, microwave, air fryer slash little convection oven. So it's actually a functioning break room. Uh, this is the fan mail wall, which currently only has two pieces of mail. So if you want to send us fan mail, uh, we will hang it up on the fan mail wall. That's just an extra storage room back there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for the shop, or uh, want to send us fan mail, please don't hesitate. If you want to check out the links down below or leave a comment, feel free to. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.